Okay, I want to talk about a little bit of useful map building. Um, if you're doing routes, this will be extremely useful, and you'll see why in a minute. Uh, first thing you want to do is go to animaps.com, um, log in or register. We're going to log in because we know who we are. And I've got a map already built, but we're going to create a new one. And you'll see how easy this is to use in a second. Um, you can set the duration, which is actually the physical duration of the travel. I just leave it at one, uh, one day. So that will do. And when you click set for map, it sets from this location. So basically, if you zoomed in or out, you could say, okay, set from this location and it would recognize it from there. But because the route I am actually using is down here, I'm quite happy just to zoom in to where I actually want it from. I'm actually going from Torrelly Matter up to this little point here, just for an example. So we've got our start point, and what we want to do is add a marker. And we'll start from the middle of Torrelly Matter and from the marker you can put a description in there click animate me create a route and as soon as you click that it should let you create the route which is just going along where you actually walk drive a cycle whatever it is all the way along the route it doesn't take long well it depends how big your route is I suppose and we ended up there. So that's that's our route, and we're pretty much finished with that. So we want to finish at the end, and that's our route. See, and it finished after one day. So that's where I ended up in a day. It took a day to get there according to that, but you could just turn say, hang on, it only actually took an hour, and that's it, saved. And then once you've done that, like here, I don't like, I'll take end away, because when you have start and end, they show up in the video. So we'll remove end. Just press enter. There you go. No name. Close that. And this is the start. And I want to remove start from here. Edit. We don't want start, because it will show in the video. So we've got no name, I'm happy with that. And now the marker looks a bit bland. So what we do is we can change the marker name, call it Matt's Bike, save that. And we don't like the marker, so what do we want instead? None of those suit me. What's Google got to offer? There's plenty on there from Google. And has it got, has it remember the ones I uploaded? You can upload your own in here. I'll save a bit of time. But it, you can upload the file yourself. So if you've got a picture of your car, oh, there's that's one I did. My a little green bike. So it's now changed to a little green bike, allegedly. Because I just clicked on something I shouldn't have done. Oh, hang on. I double zoomed. And that's that's the animation set. Oh. And what you do is you simply can walk through the travel. As you can see, it's a bit fast. So slow it down. Uh, sorry. You can slow it down in the next video. Hang on. Let's, so we've created it. Sorry, I'm getting my words mixed up here. We want to save it, which is up here and then open a playback. So let's open the playback up. Don't worry about this, because what you want to do is actually just record your screen. But you can see that's the route we went. And it's like that. It's, oh, you go, no, it's too fast. Press this one down here. Slow it down a couple of notches. Still a little bit fast. Drop it down again. And it's as simple as that. 
Because I thought this would be useful for the, you guys that are doing any travel videos, because obviously you can do it on a larger scale, and I've looked at different software, and this was the easiest one I could find to use. Um, obviously, it's got a time scale up here, but it's not really relevant to anything, because we, it didn't take that long to get there. In fact, that's pretty much, yeah, that's an hour, so you could actually reduce that to 20 minutes, 30 minutes. But as you see, it, it does the job. Thanks for watching.